two, one. Hello, thank you for joining us. Today I want to stay in the book of Joshua. We talked about Joshua yesterday. We strongly encourage us. Today I want to go to a different um, aspect of the same story in the book of Joshua. They had come into the promised land and uh, they had had their Passover feast and they were eating from the land that God had promised them. Now, what happened? And we read this in Joshua chapter 5, verses 12. Verse 12. And it said, the manna stopped the day after they ate this food from the land. They were no longer given the manna of the Israel, from the Israelites. They were for the Israelites. So what does this mean? The manna stopped. God had taken them out of Egypt. He had fed them supernaturally throughout their, their journey. And when they got to the promised land and they started to eat the provision of his promise, then at that point, the manna stopped. We have to make sure that we are always looking ahead because we can't, we can't this place, they, God said, I'm going to take Egypt from their minds and it's called Gilgal. And we can't, we have to always be looking forward, always looking forward. Behold, I do a new thing, he says to us. We can't expect God to keep blessing us the same way. He blessed us one way yesterday and last week and 10 years ago, but he's going to bless us in new, exciting ways. So today, let's look for God, where God is, right in the midst of our lives, pointing us to what he has for us, where he has for us to go. Thank you for joining us. We're going to see you next time.